Okay, you have been shown many different methods to solve two digit by two digit problems. I'm gonna go through these methods with you first so that you can hear it with my explanation. And then I want you to focus on the one that makes the most sense to you. That's what's most important, that you find something that makes sense to you and that you can get an answer correct every single time. So let's go ahead and look at this first problem. I have 23 times 45, all right? So there's a couple of ways that I can go about solving this problem. One way that you've been shown is with this area model here, and we're splitting it into four parts. And we have a 20 and a three, a 40 and a five. So what we do then is we multiply each part. So 40 times 20, well, four times eight, two is eight, plus two zeros is 800. Then I can solve this box, 40 times three, well, that would be 120. 20 times five, that would be 100. Five times three is 15. And then I can go ahead and add up each of those numbers and get an answer of 1,035. You've been shown that method. Another way that you've been shown is to kind of make a box that is in two parts instead. So we have a 27, times a 40 and a two, okay? And how we're approaching this is doing 27 times four, seven times four, 28, 108, and then tacking on a zero at the end, 1,080. And then taking this problem, 27 times two, and then adding the two numbers together. Okay, getting 1,134. Now the last method I wanna show you is one that Zern has not shown you, but I do wanna show it to you because I think it is a useful method, but if you don't like it, you can of course use one of these. So let's do 43 times 22. All right, actually, I'm gonna draw that a little higher up. All right, so I have 43 times 22. Now, here's how we're gonna approach this problem. This method is very similar to the traditional algorithm that I used here and here to solve these problems. So what I do is I just pay attention to this first digit, 43 times two. Well, two times three is six, two times four is eight, boom. All right, that's what I've been doing. Now I'm just gonna pay attention to this digit. But first, before I can start multiplying, and I'm going to write those numbers that I get down here, I need to put a zero here. And here is the reason. This two is in the tens place. So that means when I start multiplying, my answer to two times three needs to start out in the tens place. So two times three is six. Two times four is eight. I'm going to go ahead now and add these two numbers together and I'm going to get 946. I'm gonna show you this method again with another problem. Twenty-eight times 54, paying attention just to the 28 times four first. Eight times four is 32. I'm gonna carry over my three. Four times two is eight, plus three more is 11. Okay, now I'm moving over to the tens place. So I'm gonna put a zero here and I'm gonna cross this off because I don't need to use that number anymore. And then I'm gonna pay attention to 28 times five. Five times eight is 40, put my zero here, carry my four over. Five times two is, 50, is 10 plus four more is 14. Add. 
1,512. So there's three methods here that you can use. I have this um, partial products method where I'm making my boxes my area model and I'm breaking down each number. This um, partial products area model where I'm just breaking down one number or a traditional algorithm method. Any of these three methods is fine with me for you to use. So thinking about that, I'm going to give you a problem and I want you to solve it in the way that you are more comfortable with. So let's take 37 times 43. Go ahead and solve that problem on your own in any way that is comfortable for you. All right, so I have 37 times 43, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make a four box. So I have 30 and seven and 40 and three. Three times four is 12, tack on two zeros. Three times three is nine, tack on one zero. Seven times four is 28, tack on one zero. Seven times three is 21. Add all these together. Uh, let's see. That would be 19. 1,591. Say we wanted to just split it into two. Thirty-seven times forty and three. Thirty-seven times oops. Thirty-seven times four. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Three times four is twelve. Plus two more is fourteen. Tack on that zero. One thousand four hundred and eighty. Thirty-seven times three. Twenty-one. Hundred and eleven. Now, if any time I'm going too fast for you, you can always re-watch these videos. 1,591. Okay, and then my final method. The traditional algorithm. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 more is 11. Now I'm moving on, so I'm crossing that out. I'm going to put a 0 here because now I'm starting in the tens place. 4 times 7 is 28, my 2, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 more is 4, 1,591. Like I said, any of these methods work.